Hello and welcome to our video for section 11 of DMA 10, the final section for this course where we'll discuss the Pythagorean Theorem. In this video we're going to uh, discuss the definition of the Pythagorean Theorem, we'll do a couple of practice problems, and then work on an application. Let's start with the definition. The Pythagorean Theorem applies to right triangles, which are um, triangles that have a 90 degree angle right here in one of the corners. Okay, um, the uh, legs of the triangle are labeled A and B. Those are the, the sides that touch that 90 degree angle. And the opposite side is called the hypotenuse. That's labeled C here. So that's the side, the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the 90 degree angle over here. So the Pythagorean theorem states that A if, if A and B are the legs of the triangle, um, and that C is the hypotenuse, then these two formulas hold. A squared plus B squared is going to equal C squared, or C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now this first formula is useful for checking if a, a triangle is right or not. Well, the second is probably the most efficient um, for our purposes for calculating the unknown side. Uh, we'll be calculating for the hypotenuse of triangles only. We won't be ever calculating for, for the legs. So the simplified version of the formula will be most useful for that. Now let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown length of a right triangle. Um, in this triangle right here, the unknown side is the one opposite the 90 degree angle or the hypotenuse. So we can call that C. Uh, we're going to use this version of the Pythagorean theorem since we're finding the hypotenuse. C equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. And then we're going to plug in our numbers for a and b for the legs of the triangle. It doesn't matter which we choose for a and b, we'll still get the same answer. So let's plug in 9 for a and 12 for b. Now, before we can take the square root, we have to do everything inside. Uh, the square, uh, 9 squared is going to be 81 plus 12 squared is 144. Uh, we'll add these two together. 81 plus 144 is 225. And then finally, we can take the square root of this. If you look at your square root chart that you have, the square root of 225 is going to be 15 feet. Now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to test um, if these triangles are right triangles or not. Um, if we plug in the numbers to the Pythagorean theorem and we get a true statement back, then great, that's a true right triangle. But if we get an incorrect statement or a false statement, that means it's not a right triangle. So let's start with the first one. Um, I'm going to use the formula the a squared plus b squared equals c squared just because I think there's going to be fewer steps um, when we, if we use this formula to determine whether or not a triangle is right. We could use the other one, but we won't, with this one we don't have to take any square roots. Now um, we'll start plugging in our numbers. Our legs are 3 and 4, so we, we'll plug those in for A and B. And I, our hypotenuse is 5, so we'll plug that in for C. So now we have to work each side of the equation independently. First, I'm going to do all those exponents. So I'm going to get 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared is 16, equals 5 squared, which is 25. Okay. And now I have to add here on the right. 9 plus 16 is 25, which equals 25. That's true. So, yes. This is a right triangle. Now let's try the one on the right. Again, our formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The legs are 6 and 8, so we'll plug those in for a and b. And the hypotenuse is 9. Now we'll do the exponents here, here, and here. 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64, 
equals 9 squared is 81. We'll do our addition on the left side of the equation. 36 plus 64 is 100. And we get that to equal to 81. Is that a true statement? No. Okay, that's a false statement. 100 does not equal 81. So no, since the Pythagorean theorem does not hold, this is not a true right triangle. Last, let's tackle a word problem. The driver of an off-road vehicle left base camp and traveled 7 miles due west from that point. He drove, 25, uh, drove north for 24 miles. As the crow flies, which means the shortest distance from point A to point B, how far away from base camp was he uh, at that stage of the trip? Okay, so let's draw um, a picture of what's happening here. So um, if the base camp is here, he's going to drive seven miles west. Okay, and then he's going to drive 24 miles north. And we need to find the distance that he is, the short distance, shortest distance that he is from base camp. And that's going to be this line right here. Well, if he's driving due west and then due north, um, that's going to make a, make a right angle when he makes that right turn. So this actually makes a right triangle. So we can use that to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle C, which is the distance that he is from camp. So we will use the formula C equals square root of A squared plus B squared, because that's good for finding unknown lengths. The legs will plug in for A and B. That's 7 and 24. We'll square both of those. 7 squared is 49 plus 24 squared. I'm afraid I don't have my square root chart on me right now, so I'm going to have to do that out to the side. Five seventy-six. Okay, so I'm going to add those two together now. Five seventy-six plus forty-nine. Which is six twenty-five. So now I'm left with having to take the six, uh, the square root of six twenty-five, which is twenty-five. Okay, so he is at this time 25 miles from the base camp. All right, that's it for our last lesson of DMA 10. Uh, just to review, we covered in section 11 the definition of the Pythagorean theorem. We did some practice, both with finding unknown lengths and determining whether or not a triangle is a right triangle, and then we looked at an application problem. Good luck with your work on uh, section 11 and DMA and your upcoming final exam. Take care.